In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this cool double exposure effect in just a few clicks in Canva. And this is a really nice technique that normally takes a lot of Photoshop experience, but Canva now has an application that does it almost for you. There's a few things to keep in mind, so let's jump into Canva and see how we do it. So we're starting from a blank slide and we're going to choose the elements first. So I'm going to elements and then type in portrait. Now I want to choose photos. And it's important that you use a photo with a, back, a white background. So to really show this example, I'm going to use one of the pictures with a background. So you can do it with those as well. I'll increase it and I'm going to remove the background. And this is important. Now you have to export it so you have a clean white background to work with. What you can also do is take a screenshot, for example. So I'll take a screenshot of this and then and drag it in. But if you want the highest resolution, you'll have to export it first. So now we have this image. Let's look for a forest, for example and then use one of the pictures of a forest. I think this will look quite nice. Now that we have both images on the screen, so if I put this to the front, you can see it's a image with a white background. It's important that we don't use colors. Now we're going to go to the app section and here look for blend. Use blend image and it will install. Now we have the option to select the bottom layer and the top layer. It's important that we do the order right as well. So select the image, the portrait, and then click on use selected image. Now click on the forest and use selected image for the top layer. So we want that to be the top layer. And now here we can see the different blend modes. So for you, it might be on normal to start, then you can just click it and then you can choose between lighten and this already gives quite a nice result, but I prefer the screen one. And if we then add it to the design, we can see if we enlarge it, that we have this really cool double exposure effect that we can now use in our designs. Now, for those of you who want to, for example, use it on a different type of background, I'll also show that. You can now remove the background and that will remove the background from your image with the double exposure effect. And then you can just change it to any sort of color that you like. Of course, it's always nice to stick to that lighter color because that double exposure effect sort of lightens the image a bit. But if we look for a nice gradient image, gradient light, and we, for example, use this one here, then position it to the back, this would look quite cool. So let's preview that. And this is how you can create this really cool double exposure effect in Canva in just a few seconds. Now in the past, this used to take quite a long time in Photoshop. So if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.